Okay, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video we're here for the finale of season two of Oshinoko. Obviously due to the release of ReZero season three's first hour and a half special episode, uh, this got pushed back to today, obviously. Uh, I literally could not be more hyped. They left us on the most god-awful cliffhanger, I think, of all fucking time. And so I have every intention of enjoying this finale to the fullest. Uh, when I'm recording this, season three's already been announced. They announced it almost immediately after the release of the episode, which is awesome. So let's go. I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut the fuck up. I want to see what's going to happen now. Ruby found, uh, found uh, the doctor's body and... Um, we're gonna see where we go from here. But per usual, feel free to check out the Patreon and Discord. Links are in the description below. As far as the Discord goes, we talk about current anime, past, past anime, current manga, past manga. There you go. And uh, have non-anime conversations as well. And as far as the Patreon goes, you get exclusives and uncuts to all my reactions. So feel free to check out either of those of your own will. Now that further ado, let's hop straight into Oshinoko Season 2, the finale of Season 1, or, or finale of Season 2, or Episode 13. I'm so, I'm so gonna miss this OP. For the season this show aired in, not this current one that's going, but for the season this show aired in, this was the best OP. I will not concede that fact. Oh my god, hello. Oh my god, they're like questioning her and shit. That's your body, dude. Oh my god, Go Amamiya Goro. So, uh, okay, so Aqua knows. Okay, that's good to know that Aqua, in fact, knows that Ruby found his body because they reported it to the police. Yeah, we were hoping to have a nice vacation here and Ruby found... Dude, this makes me so fucking scared for her, dude. Oh my god. The man she loved is, in her mind, completely dead. Completely dead. That was one of the biggest reasons she became an idol, was to be able to meet him. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you two are supposed to room tonight. I'm sure you didn't want to see something so decayed and grotesque. <sighs> I mean, that was literally, that was literally Aqua's dead body there. Like, that is literally his dead body. I can't even, I can't even imagine what Aqua's thinking, dude. But then again, it's one of the, it's one of those things where, like, Aqua was already, like, he already accepted his death. He didn't need to see his body. He knew he died somewhere around the area. He didn't need to see it. It's Ruby who's going through it right now. Are you to blame for everything? Is it your fault if you can't protect anything and everything? That was likely the body of a murder victim. Mm. I was counting on you. I thought you of all people could find that dead body. Wow. Oh my god, he was thinking she would find it. Wow. Oh my god. It has nothing to do with me at this point. But he's still... All this time I wanted someone to discover it. But that's crazy. Oh my god. That he kept feeding her information, took her to his house and everything so that maybe she would get interest interested enough to find it. Uh, oh my god, dude. That man was your... I assume he's like, that man was the doctor who birthed you or something? I led you into doing it. I've been using you this whole time. It seems to be... Uh, I mean, I think she knows that. She's like, ready to herself. She's like, I, I hate that she knows that, because she... Truthfully, no diss to Aqua, but also a diss to Aqua. Akane deserves better. <laughs> she deserves better than just to be used as a tool, because she's good at being a detective. I finally understand. I feel like I can care. Finally put my feelings into words. This is not the response Aqua was expecting, I feel like. I can really say goodbye. You're better off without me, aren't you? Oh, no. Yeah, she was trying not to cry. She's like, I can finally say goodbye, but then she started crying because obviously she has other feelings. Uh, There's always on stage I always. Hmm. Yeah, none of that can go away that easily. 
Should have said that. Ooh. My revenge is over now. Whoa! Holy shit, what? That is not what I was expecting, if I'm being totally honest. Holy shit. Oh, hello, Ruby. I just, I'm so nervous. Every scene Ruby's in now makes me so nervous. It's like just, I don't know what's going through this girl's head right now. The star is still there. It hasn't, like, disappeared or anything. Oh. Man, when Kana finds out that they kiss like that, she's gonna lose her shit. Eyes fuck, she took it with her. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? You took that from the corpse, didn't you? She saw the flashes of I and Goldo together here. And who are you? Who are you? I saw I saw a theory. Um, I don't I have no idea if this is true, so I'm just spitting this out. I was watching a reaction from your boy Rock Lee to uh uh Oshinoko, obviously. And they theorize that she's like the person who reincarnated both of them. So that would be very interesting. But I don't know if that's actually true. Do you by chance have a close relationship with the doctor? So I understand how you feel. Oh, interesting. I sorry. With the flashbacks, it should have clicked in my head. She's obviously she went straight to the hospital. I'm in a terribly bad mood. The fucking crows, man. That that's a fucking understatement, man. I'm also be filming outdoors today. If you don't feel well, please don't hesitate to take a break. What happened at that hospital, dude? What did she tell her? Because she said, I know what you want to know, and obviously Ruby would want to know who the fuck killed him. It is, God, this is a real quiet car ride. <laughs> Kana trying to fill the dead space in a swimsuit in winter because they wanted to shoot a summer scene? Oh my God, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Good Lord, that is miserable. <laughs> Performers are manual laborers. <laughs> she looks so not ready for this music video. Oh shit, here we go. Gave birth here in absolute secrecy. We've gone missing for a long time, but the very day he fell out of contact was the day she gave birth. I wonder if he vanished because of it. Who is this giving her this information? This has to be like the deity that reincarnated them or something. Like there's no way that they this child just knows this information. That's not the only fishy thing though. Like some shady guys were hanging around the hospital for some time. Oh my god. That's the dad. That's the fucking stalker and that's the dad. It was a middle school aged boy? <laughs> what? That is very clearly their father. Does that mean I was hooking up with a middle schooler? Huh? I mean, I guess she was 16, so the age gap would not be that crazy. Okay, I have so, I have so many questions now. The college age is the stalker, obviously. Suspect in murder of I for, of B Komachi found dead. A few years after that, I learned of I learned who what. Wait, a few years after that, you learned. So you didn't know this information before. A university student who stabbed the idol I to death at her condo. It's your fucking father. The crows, bro. Oh my god! And now she's gonna send Ruby on her like a revenge path. What the fuck? So the revenge has shifted from Aqua to Ruby now? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I kinda can't even imagine how fucking cold it is. <laughs> <laughs> Where are Aqua and Akane out today, huh? Totally see this girl getting supporters. Yeah. Mm. There's an exhibit individuality in showing this. Practically tries to get people to see her charm. She's gonna do something whether it be well received or not as a gamble though. <laughs> Ooh. 
<laughs> She's back here loving this shit. Ruby, are you are you okay, dude? Hello, crow. The crows really like you to see. Oh god, the, mm, the lines in her eyes. Ooh, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> the crows really like her this season, man. Pretty face by far, but she's not interesting to film. Really seems like she's imitating someone. She's literally imitating her mother. But how? Is, what is she gonna think now? I mean, Ruby is just not not here at all. Oh my, yep. That's all she's thinking about. It's called the young age of Toro. He was murdered and was all alone in the dark hole for 16 years. My guy took two pe- Oh my god, yep. Literally, she is going down the revenge path now. Both Aqua and Ruby. Ruby doesn't know that it's her father, of course. Only Aqua knows that piece of information. But this means Ruby and Aqua are both going after their father. They both hate his absolute fucking guts. Oh my god. And he's still living carefree. Oh my god! No, this is not happening! Aqua finally got away from his revenge and now Ruby is going down the path? Come on, dude. Nobody gets to be happy in this series, man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. And kill him, yep. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, both of her eyes are dark now. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> oh my god! Bro, that was two of the most gorgeous shots I- like, oh my god! I'll definitely slaughter him. This shot is literally could not be more reminiscent of the season one from the very first episode when Aqua vied to take his revenge. This shot could not be more reminiscent of that. It's like the exact same style. Dude, she's got two dark red eyes, oh my god! She's got- she has two stars now, she- she- achieved that second star i guess but it's this dark evil star oh my god that is terrifying you cannot include that in the music video i'm sorry <laughs> oh my god dude is she now just gonna parade around with these two i this is i can't believe this aqua they they were like yeah let's take aqua off the revenge path yeah ruby she's good natured she's a good person yeah like, stick her with the revenge give it to her <laughs> Oh my god. And do some sightseeing if you like. So they finally finished. From the first one, Star T. Okay. There's an offline editing. I'll piece together a rough cut and have it checked over. Uh huh. Is it okay if I take my time? So that's their, that's their new song they haven't released yet. <laughs> And commercial creators sometimes want to go back to just being artists for a time. What does she plan to do with it? Oh, hello, Akane. You still thinking about that kiss, aren't you? <laughs> That's good. That is the biggest understatement I think I've ever heard. It's strange and mysterious, but it seems like a single thread might connect it all. <laughs> seems like since Aqua is done with his revenge, he's going to actually try giving his relationship with Akane a genuine chance and try actually falling in love with her. I mean, yeah, I don't know what else that kiss would mean. Hopefully from now on, he's not just using her. Like, you guys should know I'm the biggest Kana fan of all time. If Akane gets her time to shine, I'm not gonna complain. I like her too. Like, and it's, it, I'm especially not gonna complain if Aqua is not using her like a tool. If he is out of his revenge and he genuinely wants to facilitate a relationship with her, I'm all for it. Go ahead, as long as it is not for just using her for her abilities. It's so interesting because now she was like starting to piece together stuff, but the fact that that thing happened with Aqua, it keeps shaking her off course. Uh, oh, hey, Kana. Yep, wow. Literally every time she starts to piece shit together, I bet you that thought of Aqua is gonna come in her head. And stopped caring about anything. 
Yeah, just getting cast as a main role in a movie is huge. Doesn't matter what movie it is. I really was not expecting an onsen scene in this show, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> this is not, not what I was expecting, but okay. Rest on whether you can ride this wave. Uh, I gotta say, I don't think it's an act at this point. Oh no! It's no longer a reality dating romance. Uh-oh. At least they didn't try to fan service up the, up the scene at least. What exactly does that mean to you? Oh. Oh, I don't like those eyes, dude. Somehow, somehow Ruby is infinitely more terrifying than Aqua with the dark eyes. Somehow she is infinitely more terrifying. Yeah, Akane knows. Akane knows why he became an actor. He's worked for the director ever since he was little and he's fixated on the industry. Meet, huh? Uh, she tiptoeing around the truth there. That was like a half lie. She just omitted the most important part of that detail. That it's not meat, it's kill. I have no idea myself. I, I mean, the more hints you give her, the more... To forget about the incident, passing info to her could stir up unnecessary trouble. <laughs> Is Ruby gonna believe this? Uh... Dude, she's like completely different. Oh my god. If that clock was actually ticking in this room at night, I think I would lose my fucking mind. I would be, I would be over there bashing that fucking clock until it breaks. Like that, I cannot imagine how fucking annoying that is. Uh, yeah, she's not going to sleep anytime soon. Oh my god. Once the new feature wishes to become an actor. <laughs> <laughs> they are making these scenes so tense. Oh my god. I hope we all become successful. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I hope to become better at acting. I have to make it big in short order. What are Aqua and Ruby's wishes? I hope. Oh my god. So she knows, it's it's basically clicked in her head that Aqua was doing the same thing. Aqua was doing the same shit. And so she, but, but she doesn't know that he's no longer looking. She doesn't know that Aqua is no longer looking. This is so interesting. Oh my God, I love it. Oh, here's the, here's the music video. Is this for Star T Rain or is this for their new song? Okay, so this is the new song. Oh yeah, we're ending the season with another, another new song. Oh yeah. Damn, this is some crazy editing for this music video. Oh god. The dark eyes, dude! What? Oh, this, this is the- oh wait, that's right, this is not the Star T Rain music video. This is the one for their new song that she wanted to try and put our She said she wanted to be an artist. I'm very curious what exactly she meant by that and how she was going to use Ruby, who they well, they shot the Star T Rain music video before Ruby got fucked up over uh, Sensei's death, Goro's death and everything. The second music video is where she got all those crazy shots. I'm very curious how she put all that together. Because this shot already like you see Khan out in the light and then Ruby is just in the dark. God, the red and the, oh, I don't, I actually don't know what it is or how they do it, but Ruby is seriously 10,000 times more intimidating than Aqua with the, with the dark eyes. She is scary, dude. Cause you, I, usually we get Aqua's inner thoughts. We don't ever get Ruby's inner thoughts. We never know what this girl is thinking. Like very rarely ever do we know what she's thinking. And she's in like these dark visuals. Whoa! 
It's like she affected Mem with like the darkness or something. Sorry, I'll listen. Hang on, I'm gonna let the music video play out before I keep pausing on it. Sorry, and then I'll go back. And Khan is like running. Whoa. Oh my god! She really did take like that dark R emanating off Ruby and just exemplify it for the music video. That was fire. Interesting. Wait, that's very interesting. You can like see the shots and like the parts of the music video they shot before it happened. And then the contrast between this and a scene like, let's just go back here. A scene like this where it's just clear it, dude, that's so good. I love that. I love how they kept track of what's been shot on what specific days. So I was wrong earlier. I said they shot Star T Rain the first day and then the second day they did the second music video, but no, that's right. They had tried to do most of both on the first day and then ended up needing to do more on the second day. Uh, and the second day, there's a clear difference in what's being used. Like this scene here is just, oh my God, dude. Holy shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the episode and then I'm probably gonna go back. So if you wanna stay for my end of episode discussion, I am probably going to go back over this music video again, look more into the lyrics and kinda look at the music video as a whole. Um, but for now, I'm gonna finish the episode. I am, I'm gonna go back though. That was great, that was a banger song. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted for including in the video. Everyone's wishes came true or it was due to someone's guidance. Oh, so they got popular because of that shit. Oh wow, they brought in, Memcho brought in the other actors from the reality show. And that in turn resulted in a huge rise in the new Komachi's name recognition. I wish I could see the title of this video. They fucking blocked it off. Uh, okay, there we go. Pikomachi roundtable talk with Love Now cast members featuring those three as special guests. Oh my god! What is with the- uh, why? The time skip! Second year high schoolers. Akane and Arima have moved on to their third year. Proposal the 15 year lie provisional. What? Uh, this is the story of the year. When each of our endeavors begins making great strides. It's so the dichotomy now. Because she thinks that Aqua is still looking, but his revenge is done. So I wonder if Ruby's going to get fed up with the fact that he's not doing anything anymore and try and take charge on her own or confront him about it. Oh, I'm so ready for season three, dude. I cannot believe this episode's almost over. Fuck. But look, just the dichotomy here. Aqua is just like laxed face now, and Ruby clearly is just not oh, not not good. Oh, I love how the end card here is like black this time, uh, dude. Season three is going to be so good. This season was already beyond peak. That was different, wasn't it? That was totally different. And now it makes so much sense, her like dancing and then it turns red. Uh, that was totally different. The zoom into her eye and how it went dark. Uh, that is totally different. Uh, the music video is like, the, the ending's like glitching out too. I can't believe that's never happened before in this ED. That has never happened before. I'm not just seeing shit, I swear. <laughs> it's like glitching out. Uh, yeah, it, this never happened. The crows too, all flying. I don't know if that was there before. I'm like hyper analyzing this ending now. I love how they made the ending all glitchy. It's so good. I wish I could have seen the lyrics one more time. God, they still showed that. Oh, there's an end credit scene. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I really um, wish uh, uh, wish they would have had the lyrics because I, I would have liked to see them one more time. Oh, well. The hell? What? 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 Hello? What? Who? Who? Oh my god. Who? What? Why? You can't leave me there! No! Who is that? 
Correct. They had stars in their eyes. We've never seen someone with like light blue hair. Who the fuck is this? I guess it's just another person in the industry, but the star eyes? Oh my god. He just, so he just took another victim. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> This is crazy! Oh my god, dude. This, oh, I love this show so fucking much, dude. Oh my god. Okay. I said I was gonna go back, so I'm gonna go back. I wanna get the music video again. I wanna really, like, look at the lyrics this time. I didn't really uh, read them. I, I was more looking at the visuals the first time around. I didn't really read the lyrics. So I wanna, I wanna go through and actually read the lyrics this time and try to pair them with the visuals that's going on. I think the the um the I, I forget her name sorry they like only said her name a couple times she had a really cool name i'm gonna look it up real quick actually Anne Mone Mono Mone Mone there you go Mone Mone that was her name i wanted to remember her name because she had a cool name i i think she did a really good job she noticed that like ruby had like this dark aura emanating off of her after finding out about Goro's death and so she put that into the music video to make it this kind of like dark thing oh uh, man i'm I, like i said i'm gonna look through this more so we're let's get into this now but holy fuck this show is so good i, I like this show is so good see that's a visual from the first day when ruby is a-ok -okay. and of course the animation looks gorgeous so this is stuff from the second day and then this okay i said i was gonna look at the lyrics but then i just didn't do it because then again i don't know if this show is the type to like make the lyrics match with what's happening like in the show or if this is just supposed to be lyrics for like a typical idol song i don't know that's why i want to look to somewhere to somewhere to anywhere take me secret date a little she like even like kissed out a dark heart uh, can you can you find me it's so interesting because then ruby like hits memcho and like infects her or something uh, i peer her ago i don't think about the future flippity clop urashima's casket surprises even horses quickly become captivated by me oh my god she's literally she literally used a visual of ruby fucking crying after all just an acrylic stand isn't enough right i won't leave you even for a moment and it goes right to the dark visual of Ruby there. Mimcho bites Kana and infects her. God, using the vi that creepy visual of Ruby crying in the background with these scenes. Sorry, I don't... I won't leave you for a moment. Love you, Pop, you don't look away. The love laid bare in the end. It's only you. Appearing everywhere I go, Pop, you love you. I just do! <laughs> I, I don't know how to describe it. Because I feel like Ruby's just been such this bundle of joy for the entire series. So to see her take such a sharp 180 twist is just so jarring and scary. Appearing everywhere I go. Okay. I'm not seeing any correlation with the lyrics to anything going on. Just the, like using like the kind of uh, almost yandere sounding lyrics at times to like with Ruby visuals is definitely interesting an interesting choice. I might not just not be understanding correctly and you guys are free to fill me in. But I do also, this song is a banger, by the way. It's just a banger. Oh God, man. And then Ruby's face is just, I love how they, they highlight her with red when everybody else, I don't think they did that. Yeah, no, Kana was blue, I th or, what, fuck, I don't want to go back again because I got to watch this shit again, just anyway, sorry. So Kana is highlighted in white, of course, Memcho in yellow, and Ruby in red. It's just like, there, there is nothing happy about that smile she is making here. I love, they convey that so well somehow, with just like the darkness in her eyes, there's just nothing happy about her smile. She's not even smiling in the background here. Jesus, dude. That, I mean, my God. I, uh, <laughs> this makes me so mad that this is where they ended it. The dad took out another person with star eyes? Who? We don't even know who that is. We've never seen that character or heard of that character before. But it's another person with the star quality eyes. Who the fuck is it? Oh my, dude. Th this show is awesome. I, I actually cannot praise this show enough. I, I seriously feel like this season might have pushed this show into my top 10 of all time. It it's pro it's it's up there. It's making its way up there for sure. Like this is, this is it. fucking incredible. This show is incredible. I love it so much. Okay, let's go over my praises for this season. Um, Kana and Akane's backstories were fucking awesome and the development they got. The entire uh, uh, Tokyo Blade play arc was fucking incredible. Some of the most gorgeous animation I've ever seen in like consistent drawing quality. This show never dropped in quality in any episode. 
Like it never, there was never a noticeable drop where I was like, oh, the quality kind of tapered off for this scene where it needed to be better. No, every scene that was, had a certain level of desirable quality was given that and some. Every scene in this show was just gorgeous in season two. It looked so good. So, and, and the Tokyo Blade play arc was phenomenal. Animation for that entire arc was pheno phenomenal. Character growth for all the characters involved there. Melt, Kana, uh, Akane, even Aqua there. Uh, although his growth was more of a negative growth uh, until he found out that he's no longer, he no longer needs to go after revenge. So all of the Tokyo Blade play was fucking awesome. Then we found out Himikawa is their half brother found an Aqua uh, wanting to be freed, like deep down wanting to be freed from this will for revenge, uh, doesn't acknowledge the simple loophole. And, um, and yeah, Akane now knows that the killer is still very much out there. Um, and that that's not actually his dad. Um, and yeah, then we lead into this Ruby arc, which this arc has been insane. I mean, I just, I literally, I don't think I have enough good things I can say about this season. I genuinely don't think I have enough good, phenomenal things to say about this season of Oshinoko. This shit was phenomenal. Every last detail of this season was nothing but pure peak. God, it was so good. I, I think I'm gonna wrap this up here. You guys will obviously, if it wasn't clear enough, you guys will see me in season three. This is the show that really kicked off my channel in the first place. I would not be here right now if it was not for this show. Well, obviously because I'm reacting to it, but also because it is what boosted my channel in the first place. The first ever video that blew up on my channel was episode one of Oshinoko. So I, I have everything to thank for this show for blowing on my channel. Of course, there's other ones down the line that did really well as well. But the first one that gave me any attention at all and brought a lot of you guys to uh, watch my videos and enjoy my stuff is this series. And so I, have, I, I can do nothing but thank it for that. And um, th this show is just incredible. I, 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 I don't think I... I think I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stop the video because if I keep going I'm just gonna keep ranting on and on about the good stuff about this show when I think I've gotten the point across fairly clearly that I absolutely fucking love Oshinoko season two could not be a clearer 11 out of 10 for me like season two I'm not kidding when I say this seriously could be pushing it into my top 10 shows of all time with season three especially being announced I quite literally could not be more excited for the future of Oshinoko but I think that is going to wrap it up for my action. Oshinoko Season 2. I will see you guys in Season 3 rolls around. Uh, but I hope you guys did enjoy. And I hope you all have a good day.